Snickopy here with a let's play of Xenoblade Chronicles. Yes, oh my god. Would you believe it, guys? Everybody's LP dreams are coming true this month. Oh god. Okay, I'm thinking to myself like, is this a good idea? I don't know. <laughs> Let's just go if I can go for it. I say that just because I'm currently doing another RPG, and I've I've heard apparently this is quite the uh, the hefty RPG. This isn't like a small undertaking. I've even had a few of you compared to like fucking Persona. So I I don't know. Unfortunately, I'm a big RPG fan, so I I'm just hoping this game doesn't kill me in the process. I suppose there's always the possibility I could take a small break if it to if it does truly get out of hand. But we'll just kind of play things by ear for the time being. But God, to say this game has been requested for a long time would be a freaking understatement, even compared to Mother 3. I mean, that one's, it was it was on and off requested, right, for a while. Xenoblade Chronicles has been requested every single Let's Play for like, I mean, since it was released. Oh man, that's some epic ass music though. Woohoo! Shit, get me pumped. Oh God, that really is some really good music, jeez. But this game, yeah, it's it's been requested for a really long time. Um, and I mean, honestly, and I, I'm, I'm gonna be straight with you guys. I uh, I haven't really thought to pick up this game because uh, oh, that's kind of cool. A little thing in the center is starting to glow now. That's nighttime. Because I I I'd seen uh like pictures and some videos of like the battle system, and it it generally is something I'm not really crazy about, and that is the sort of MMO type looking battle system like they did something similar in Final Fantasy 12 and I really wasn't a big fan of it so that was sort of the reason why I kind of shied away from it but this game has gotten just rave reviews from everyone across the board um I don't know how this compares to a sequel I don't know if this is like you know the second one gets better or something but I just I've heard like universal praise for this game um, so I, I want to, I want, I do want to give it a chance. I'm going to going in with an open mind. I don't want you guys to think I'm, I'm going straight in. I'm like, I'm going to, I'm going to hate the battle system or something. Oh, Hey, we're getting more stuff now. Pretty, very pretty looking. I will say, but I'm going, I'm going with an open mind. I, I, while I wasn't a big fan of Final Fantasy 12s, I don't know. Maybe this one will change my mind. If it's the same kind of thing, which maybe it isn't. I, like I said, I, that aside, that that's really the only thing I really know about this game. This is. Uh, at when I saw that initially, I was just kind of like, okay, this is the ceiling of my cup of tea. I'm going to move on to this other thing. So I never kept track of it. So I don't know anything about it other than uh, the main character, I think, is also in the Smash Brothers games. But that's about it. That said, though, I have actually dabbled a bit in the Xeno uh, games before. I My first one was Xeno Saga, which <laughs> I'm just going to throw out there. The game fucking sucked. <laughs> okay, that game sucked I, I played the first episode of it and ooh, yeah that game was it was not good i'm but I, I again from what i heard this one is better than that um i don't think i don't think anyone i've seen too many people defend xeno saga <laughs> or at least not episode one xeno gears i actually went and played that on many years after it had been released like on the uh my ps3 on the psn network uh, they had it, and I played through it, and uh, it was okay. I, I liked it all right. I, I, I do think it was a game that hadn't aged very well, though. It was, it was still pretty fun, if not a bit generic feeling, you know, uh, for a modern day game. But like I said, an old game, so it probably set the standard for a lot of what we expect uh, in these kinds of games. From what I could tell, these, I don't know, the, the Xeno games seem like the really, like, there's a big difference in quality between the different series, you know? I think they might be run by totally different studios, for all I know, but they're, like, Xeno Gears was really different from Xeno Saga, and I imagine this game is probably really different from any of the other two, so. By the way, if you're thinking to yourself, man, this game looks a little sharper than I remember it looking, uh, I'm actually using, uh, I'm doing it on emulation, but I'm also using, uh, both HD textures and 60 frames per second, so... We're gonna give my uh, PC a chance to flex its muscles, baby. Yeah. So then, uh, hopefully, hopefully it runs all right. I don't know. We'll have to again see how that goes. <laughs> I haven't actually like tried any gameplay with this, so we'll have to see how it works. But hopefully it looks all right. So if any of you guys have played this game to death, maybe it'll feel new again. You know, with uh, the updated visuals. And I will say, I mean, the, just the textures themselves though make this like I like looked at how it looked before, and now it looks just whoo sharp. Well, all right, guys. <laughs> With that, I guess, let us get started. Oh, Lord. What have I done? <laughs> what have I gotten myself into? Don't worry, Nico. It's only going to be 300 episodes long. <sighs> okay. 
Long ago, the world was nothing more than an endless sea, cloaked in a boundless sky, reaching as far as could possibly be imagined. Whoa, hey, look at that. Then two great titans came into existence. <laughs> Boom! Fucking Megazords fighting each other. Yeah! The Bionis and the Maconis. Me cooler looking. No, no me cooler looking. looking. Oh god, here it comes! Whoa! Oh fuck, that was my arm, you dick! Okay, time out, time out! Titans were locked in a timeless battle. Ow. Until at last, only their lifeless corpses remained. Oh, did they just kill each other at the exact same moment? Oh, that sucks. Eons have passed. Oh. Now, yes. our world, this vast land stretching across the remains of the Bionis, is under attack from a relentless force known as the Mechon. Holy mother of cinematic, Batman! Jesus! Oh, I feel like I'm watching a trailer for an epic movie! Oh! That voice acting's pretty good so far! At least that one guy is! See, I believe the like the the cutscenes are still in 30 FPS. It's just the the gameplay is in 60, which makes sense. It, oh, what the fuck! They're advancing down our weak right flank. For a bunch of soulless machines, they seem to know a thing or two. But we'll see. Damn, yeah, let's leave it to lightsaber guy. He's doing pretty well. Dunban! <laughs> Dunban! We've been given the order to retreat. We're pulling back the line to Colony 6. That's where we'll set up the last line of defense. Yeah, that's a good idea. Any more time spent hanging around here, and we're done for. Count me in. We gotta get out of here. Or we can stay and fight. What? <laughs> what? <laughs> we may die. Oh, everyone is so here, British. But staying gives us the chance to change our destiny. I love it. We have the Monado. With this, the future is ours for the taking. Stupid beast. Your body can't take any more of the Monado. I can tell by just looking at you. Getting short-sighted in your old age, Dixon. I'm fine. Don't worry, I'm still in control. I don't know, man. You look a little crazy to me. <laughs> He's like, yes! I should have known I couldn't talk sense into a beast. Let's do this. I'm going with you. You'll need someone to drag your corpse off. As long as you think you've still got the strength in you, old man. Boy, you two. We've been ordered to pull back. I'm leaving. Well, I say you're coming with us. What would we do without those? This guy sounds like Balthy Air when he the talks. Second wave. <laughs> Speaking of Final Fantasy XII. It's now or never, Dunban. Let's show them what we've got. We'll give them a warm Homs welcome. <laughs> Acknowledged. Yeah. Ha! Ha! What are they trying to prove? I'm not throwing my life away. No point dying in some godforsaken field. This music is I'll fucking balling! Yeah, that should give me time to escape. <laughs> wow, okay. Alright, now we know who the douchebag is. Whoa, alright. Uh, okay, uh, press L1 and R1 to target a monster. Hey, 60 FPS looking pretty good, I think. L1 or... 
Okay, target an enemy to display the battle palette. Battle pa- Mmm, yummy! That sounds tasty. Uh, select the fight icon and press circle to start the battle. Okay. Okay, who do I want to kill? 72 or 63? Let's go with 72. Approach tar target to auto attack. If you are too far from a monster, you can't attack. Oh dear. Hmm, getting some lag here. Hold on a second. Alright, let's try this again. Okay, approach target to auto attack. If you're too far, a monster, you can't attack. Okay, that looks better. Okay, that seems pretty simple. Just gotta sit back here and let him do his thing. Select arts with the D-pad and press circle to confirm. Select from two different arts. Monado and Champ power party members. Monado Buster deal major damage to an enemy. Uh, okay, let's do this one. Boom! Boom! Oh dear. Oh man, we are quite talky, aren't we? <laughs> Die! <laughs> uh, okay. Allows Torby weapons to damage Mechon. Okay. Doing alright? Uh, oh no! Oh, it's a big one! <laughs> hmm, should I pull my sword out? I don't know. Yeah, I guess so. Oh fuck! Whoa, whoa. That was a big swing. Boom! The final push. That guy's face portrait changed. He looks. He looks sad. Or is he got like a status effect or something? Boom! Okay, it's like the battles look a little better than they did before. Oh, you gotta be kidding! It's their main force. Looks like the Mechon are hell bent on taking us out. They'll have to be if they want to beat us. Now, let's even the odds a bit. You heard him. You heard him. Dixon, Munka. Let's do this. Ah! Ah! <laughs> ah Sora's going to kill Thou's Heartless again. This guy's got Wolverine claws. Whoa! Oh, yeah! Whoa! Oh my God! So he said, like, you can't. Your body can't handle it. Is he like? Oh yeah, it's doing damage to him, isn't it? It's like the KO kit! Oh god. Ow! I ain't going down that easily. Tombat! Are you alright? Oh, what does it look like? I'm still good to go. <laughs> Guess even a hero's gotta reach his limit eventually. Monkar! What are you doing? That way is. Oh, that guy's Sorry, that guy's so fucked. This on you, but it's the banana they're after. So have fun keeping them occupied for me. I'm getting the hell out of here. Mumka, you just Now oh, don't worry. I'll organize your funerals. <laughs> well, see you, boys. Wait. You can tell British this is, but by their spelling of organize. Oh. Ah! If this is a joke, it ain't funny. Looks like this is it. At least we know our luck can't get any worse from here. Dumban? Dixon, take care of the survivors. Dumban, what are you playing at? Just wait for it. Sky's Ska, gonna get wrecked! When everything's quacked out of it, that thing's gonna be mine! You sure about that, bro? Oh! <laughs> Oh, oh! oh no, please! No! Vile Mechon. 
Oh, no, I want to see it. The people of Bionis are just waiting here for you to pick us off. You are sorely mistaken. Holy fuck! Such awesome power! Whoa! Wait. Whoa! Xenoblade Chronicles. Wait, were we on the big thing? Is that what that was? On the big giant guy. That seems like it'd be very precarious. This guy's even bigger than I realized. One year later. A mech on M71. I bet I can use its optical system to align one of the anti-air batteries. Oh, no good. It's broken. The joint section. It's buckled. It's completely useless. Ugh. Pretty. Guess this game looks really good, at least with the updated textures and and stuff. Huh? An M sixty nine. Its armor would be perfect for making a shield. If I can just get it off, I should be able to... Ah! Ah! Shulk! Ah! Right. It's not a mecha. Ah! It's just a crabble. It's a tur a it was using the turtle crab. It's a shell. I'll lure it away and top it. When it's down, use your arts to finish it off. Arts. Probably the Legend of Lagaya. Guys are playing that game. I love that game. Okay, ah! Uh, ah! Uh, oh crap, now I'm a scrub again! Level 1! When HP gauge is depleted, the character will be incapacitated. <laughs> Whoa, slow down there, game! Select arts and press circle to confirm. Okay, backslash. Use backslash to deal damage. Restore HP with light heal. Ah, oh, okay, cool. Select who will be healed. Uh, whoa! <laughs> Did have a few moments of stutter there. Uh, okay. Boom! You cannot use the same art repeatedly. Cooldown begins. After a set amount of time, cooldown is complete. Okay. Makes sense. We can definitely do this! Using talent arts. Talent arts are arts that are specific to a particular character. Select like talent arts icon and press circle to use it. To use talent arts, the talent gauge must be full. The gauge fills up every time an auto attack hits hit connects. Let's go! Bravo! Good. <laughs> get a little uh, distortion there with the the sound effects, but it seems like every time I get <laughs> I get a big move explosion. The enemies will drop treasure chests. Press circle to open and take the loot. Okay. Am I HP actually healing on its own? A green barrier stops you escaping. Beat the monster to make the barrier disappear. Iron crabble shell. Iron small shell. Okay, I shall take all of it. Is, is, is this thing alive? Oh, yeah. So we just don't even do anything unless I, I hit that target. Beware of aggro during battle. Aggro is the measure of a monster's feelings of animosity towards each party member. This is how much I dislike you. The more damage the monster takes from a party member, the greater the aggro towards that member. The member of the party becomes the target of a monster's wrath, an aggro ring will appear around them. Some marks are more effective from certain positions. Shulk's backslash deals more damage to the attacks behind the monster. It's called the Arts Bonus Effect. Oh my god, we're already dealing with a lot of shit here. Uh, use the aggro ring to help find the best position. When aggro ring appears around rain, Shulk has a chance to use backslash from the rear. If successful and the bonus effect condition is met, the damage value will be displayed in a... Uh, <laughs> okay. Okay, so like, now, do it. Yeah, boom! 
Right, I'm feeling it. I'm feeling it. Almost there. Right. We, we can definitely do this. Thanks, Ryan. That was a close one. Man, what were you doing wandering off by yourself? Stay where I can keep an eye on you. It's pretty dangerous outside of the colony. There are all kinds of monsters. Yeah, and you're only level one. To you, yes, scrap. Shell. Everyone in the colony is going to be really happy. I'm more worried about you than the shell. Oh, whatever. Knowing what you're like, at least you'll make a decent weapon out of it. This scrap driver's excellent. I just learned by watching Dixon make weapons. Of course, Dunban's weapon still beats them all. The Monado. I hope I can figure out the secret of his power one day. You will, Shulk. Anyway, we better get back to the colony. If I'm late for drills again, old Square Tash is gonna kill me. Square Tash? Oh, the Defense Force Colonel. He's pretty scary. Tell me about it. Sorry, I didn't mean for you to come all the way out here during your break. Don't worry about it. Let's get back. I can't get over how... How uh, very English everyone is. <laughs> Seriously, it's just the accents are so thick. Hello there! Looks like Nico's gonna have to whip out his best English accents for this let's play. Follow the arrow to miss the story. The number shows the distance to your destination. Okie dokie, Smokey. Uh, control the camera. L2 display camera instructions for further instructions. Sounds good. Triangle to open the menu where you can save your progress. You cannot save during battles and story events, however, you can save in most other situations. Tutorials at any time. For the tutorials are added as you play the game. Alright. Cool, alright. Off to a rather epic start, aren't we? Hey, I can hop! Woo! Woo! Ah! Uh, okay. Uh, oh, hit the select button. That gives me the menu here. Okay, that's probably my the main place I want to go to. Wait, whoa. Skip to... Oh. Oh. I get fast travel? I guess fast travel to places I've been to already. Shulk and Ryan. Ryan, you got a lot more uh, health than uh, Shulk does here. Okay, so that little bar underneath us is our EXP bar, I guess. Scrap driver! Oh, yeah. This music, this music really reminds me of Chrono Cross. Shulk and Ryan have managed to find off their assailant. Ryan has to get back to his shift with the Defense Force, so Shulk and Ryan decide to return to Colony 9. Oh, I see. Okay. Uh, just like get all the buns down. They, they really throw a lot of stuff at you right at the beginning here. Uh, oh, get achievements too? <laughs> so many! Change in game time? Uh, oh, okay. That's nice. I guess maybe they have different quests at different times. <laughs> Chuck Sword. Not a very effective sword. Thoughtful token of friendship made by, for Rain by Rhyme by Skull. Shulk. I wonder if I can hold like an unlimited amount of stuff. I hope I can, just because I'm, I'm never really a big fan of, like, inventory management, but, I don't know, knowing these games, whenever you have loot to deal with, it's almost always, there's almost always an inventory system you have to deal with. Oh, it seems like the 60 FPS is working fairly well. I think the only thing we have to worry about here, it seems to be, uh, some distortion in the audio at certain points, but, uh, that aside, it's working pretty well, I don't know. You guys can let me know what you think. So, okay, I see you. Are you a little bunnit? Are they even angry at me? Do I want to kill them? Time to die, of course I am. Come on. Oh, little bonnet, you've got quite a bit of health on you. Bruh, eat this, you little bonnet. <laughs> oh, good, we are so good, right? We are ever so good and ever so British here, crumpety. Now it's right time. Now, did you say, now it's right time. Hey, level up, all right. Wait, so our HP just slowly heals itself over time? Seriously? That seems a little game-breaking, but I'm not against it. Wait, I, what about this little guy? He doesn't seem to... We just killed your friend, don't you care? Eh, he was kind of a dick anyway. Well then... <laughs> oh, for God's sake, swear I do! I don't know, I just want to kill more bonnets! All the bonnets must die! <laughs> Man, what a bunch of jokers. Man, what a bunch of bunnets. <laughs> what a bunch of bunny bo Okay, now that one seems a lot angrier at us. That's one that we probably should kill. Alright, I'm feeling it. I'm feeling it. 
Let's keep up the pressure. I see. So every hit I land, I get additional stuff. Okay, break. Break status. Topple may be inflicted. I don't know what that means. I can knock him over or something. Like he's a turtle. Okay, so I can just like fight some dudes, but you don't even really need to. Like just go on their merry freaking way. Hey, see, he doesn't even give a shit about me. Doesn't mean I'm not gonna kick his ass though. I'm gonna kick his ass. Okay, so it seems like this game kind of goes by the uh, the birth by sleep rules, and that there's no real MP. It's just uh, it's just cooldowns I gotta worry about. Nice job. Crikey! Gathering collectibles. The latest additions to your collection can be registered in the Collectopedia! Fill in a row or collect all the items in an area to receive a reward. Oh, neat. Access the Collectopedia from the, me the menu. All right, go to all collections. Please, doodly do. Okay, let's have a little look see here. Collectopedia. Oh, okay. I actually have to add it to it? Oh, I do, yeah. No for its small black roots. For calling on, I see. Ah, oh, that actually gave me a little bit of experience. One is never enough. Oh, I see, so the achievements are actually giving me experience and maybe money and stuff too. That's kind of cool. Oh yeah, his beats are really bumping. Liking it. Yeah. I wonder if, like, after, I bet at a certain point when you start getting really strong, some enemies will just ignore, like, like, won't fucking bother with you. Like, well, I, I mean, I, these guys aren't bothering me now, right? Because I am that strong. I'm almost leveled up, so kill this guy. Take this! I can feel the power! Affinity coin. Art learn. I learned stuff. Can I can't, can't measure them yet? Moonflower. Yeah, look at these things. Common caterpillar. Oh yeah, slit edge. Attack from the side to lower physical defense. Boom. We are very talkative during battles, aren't we? Go, let's just keep doing it. Let's keep doing the thing that we're doing. All right, little bonnets, I'm gonna let you live for now. Dawn Hydringa. So these just items I find out on the fields. Sweet wasabi. And these are all things that I, I use for my collectopedia or whatever. Yeah. Category complete. Poison Defense 3. Ooh, cool. So you just find them scattered around the field, and I, I thought maybe you got them off the monsters. A black kiwi. <laughs> like they're just kind of dotted in a little line here. Follow, follow the line of stuff. So I've got a big old place over here. Colony 9. Oh, yeah. It, it's showing us... I, I was like, what's that little dot? It's a dot on the big thing. I, that is. We're on, like, the big, giant monster things that we're fighting each other. Here we are. I better stop in at HQ. You off to the weapon development lab? Yeah. When I've sold any parts, I can't use. All right. See you later. I like how so much of his voice acted, too. Change party members. Uh, oh, okay. Visiting the shops. Uh, every shopkeeper has that above their head. Selling loot. Make money by defeating monsters and selling your loot to a shop. Ah, I see. Okay. Accepting quest. Press circle to talk to anyone with an exclamation point above their head. Click the quest they give to receive money, experience their items. Square to trade with named individuals, some of them will gladly take an item you don't need in exchange for a rare item. 
Enjoy quests and trade along inside the story. The story will progress even if you don't do any trading or complete any quests. However, using these features may give you an advantage in the game. Okie dokie. Oh, there's some stuff right over here. Collect all the little doodles. For some reason. Okay, they actually respawn after a while too. So I can get more than one of the exact same item. Okay, red lettuce, black kiwi, this thing. I like how I can open the menu and still move around too. That's kind of nice. It is very MMO feeling in that regard, I think. So can I like fall off from here? Or oh my God, yes I can. Is that gonna hurt? Oh yes it does. Ow. Hey, little crab people down here. Crab people. It's probably a bad idea. But I'm gonna kill you anyway. This isn't going well. Okay. Lie to yeah, this Hey, you know what? I'm gonna just run away now. I realize my mistake, Mr. Crab, and I will leave you to your devices. I'm losing it. Sorry! <laughs> just gonna stand over here and slow heal you know, myself. Yeah, yeah, I don't want I, I don't wanna do that. Level three shulk versus level three Mr. Crab. Mr. Crab wins every damn time. Oh! Oh hey, I can swim! And there's stuff in the water. Wow, that's pretty free roaming, isn't it? All right, Mr. Crab, I'm I'm I, I I know we had our differences, but I'm gonna let you be on your way. But watch I mean I will let you live! Arr, you wanna say it to me face, shit for brains! <laughs> no, I'm sorry. That's a cool potato right there. Anti whoa, anti-air battery. It's a lot of moving around here. Uh okay, so. Oh yeah. That's nice. Skip it! I got an achievement for it too. Oh, we do have day and night here as well. I suppose that makes sense. I just just see I could change my time. Dunban's house. Oh, wedding ring. Hi there. Hi there. Hi there, Shulk. <laughs> For Sarah, that was all he was gonna say. What's got you up in about so late? Did you find some extra junk? <laughs> no. Not particularly excessively British townsfolk. Okay, well you have a fine and dandy day. Top of the morning to you. Fine, I need to be even stronger. Oh my God, what's happening? I level up. When I found a, oh <laughs> I found a shop. Oh my God, power! <laughs> Every everything you do is fucking epic in this game. Uh, buying items. Select item you wish to buy. Press circle to buy it. Press circle R one R one. Select a character display what their stats would be with the weapon equipped. Okie dokie. I don't have enough money, but I can sell things. Uh. Oh wait, I'm in the buy app. Let's go to sell. Okay, uh, materials, is that? Collectibles. Now, can I collect the collect, or do I, can I sell the collectibles after I'm done with them? I've, I've completed my thing or will it go away if I do that? Do I have to go one at a time? Cause that would kind of suck to like sell, like, like, uh, uh. Okay, I'm guessing it's this. Just sell these materials or whatever. Yeah. So I guess that's the only way to actually make money in this. You don't seem to get money from battles. Prototype helmet. Newly developed by the Holmes army. Prototype number 21. Some good shit, I guess. Oh, it, it, I can't equip it, I see. Wow, oh, weirdly enough, this is actually not nine cap is better than for me than this battle gear thing, despite being less expensive. Oh lord, we're gonna have a lot of looting stuff to, to deal with in this game. I can already tell. Can't equip any of those weapons either. Oh, slit edge. Laos, Shulk to learn further levels of this art. Oh, uh, okay. Wait, so, do I wanna buy that? For, so, beyond what I already have, I guess? Not really sure to be honest. Oh my God, we have so many different things going on. What? There are three kinds of equipment uh, item. Normal, slot, unique. Gyms on unique equipment cannot be removed. Ask the gym man for more information. 
quest log. When your affinity with an area increases, a star will be displayed on the affinity chart. New quests will be available as affinity with an area increases. High affinity also means that you will be able to trade more items. Wow, okay. Oh yeah, here's the break topple thing. And I mean, with a break R to inflict break. Attack an enemy suffering break with a topple R to inflict topple. An enemy will not be able to attack or move all suffering topple. Oh, okay. So you, you do the break and then the topple is like the follow up thing. I don't think I have anything to topple, so do I? Attack an enemy suffering topple with a days R to inflict days. <laughs> okay, and it keeps going. The enemy will not be able to attack or move. Also, its aggro will not increase. This is a chance to, for characters with lower defense to deal damage. Oh, I see. All right. Now some additional battle tactics here. Uh, my talent R is turn strike. It deals a lot of damage and can flick break on the enemy. Talent gauge fills up when I auto attack, so it's vital to to auto attack and not just use arts all the time. Uh, I let Ryan bear the brunt of these attacks. He can't he can take a lot more knocks to the head than I can? Yeah, leave it to me. I just I just strike the monsters and draw the aggro while you do the damage with backslash. Don't let me down. When Ryan's feeling a, a bit a bit of heat, I can use light heal to bring him back in the game. Thanks, Shark, but make sure you don't draw too much aggro yourself. Sometimes you'll just want to lay off the arts for a while. Okay. And Ryan's just the tank, basically. My talent, my talent art is Mad Taunt. Folks must attack me, draw on the aggro. Extract some of the others so they don't get attacked. I'm guessing I could probably also take control of my party members, too, at some point. Talent gauge fills up when I auto attack. Jobs protect Shulk. Let my talent gauge fill up and use the Mad Taunt to draw aggro. Pretty nifty, right? The talent gauge fills up when you use. Bone up or two. Pretty useful when we need mad taunt. Monster suffers from break. I can use wild down to topple it. Oh, okay. So you're the one with the topple. Yeah, I'll I'll break him with the turn strike. Then you topple him with wild down. Okay. I'm guessing the uh, AI is probably smart enough to figure that shit out. Uh, okie dokie. <laughs> I see some these menus in the tutorial. They didn't they did, uh, did not bother to uh, update the the textures. Get your ankle labs right here. Snug sets a romantic mood better. Well. Buy one of these fabulous ether lamps. It'll bright, it'll bright up any home. Good quality products, just like the ones that light up the colony. Stop, we're going fast. 50% off. Uh, can I actually buy it, or is it just like a fluff thing? Can you guess what my job is? You'll never guess. I'm a critic. Or tell, <laughs> no one tells it like it is, and from the commoner's perspective. Leopold, don't make lots of cash for work as good as gold. Oh, be relationships with the affinity chart. Talking to named residents of an area or town will register them on the affinity chart, which shows the relationship between party members and the residents. What the fuck? Are you kidding me? Seriously? Just to the random towns fuck that have names? Uh, my first friend. You're my best friends, girl. Oh, okay. Leopold, impoverished critic. Oh, it even shows the time they're active. Gender, race, homs. I guess, oh, that's like the, the human, right? Uh, okay. So, what? Wow, there's a lot going on here. Doesn't tell me anything else about it, though. Like, what is that, uh... Oh. Oh, I see, okay. Finish chart continued. If you are talking to a named person and someone else who's already registered on the Affinity Chart char comes up in the conversation, these two will be linked. As the number of people on the Affinity Chart increases, try going back and talking to people you have met before. Oh. What in the fuck? Oh, personality. Really likes Shulk. Uh, uh, uh. What does this do for me? Change feels affinity by completing quests. Completing quests properly may improve the relationship between two characters who don't get on well. Expanding and improving the affinity chart is not necessary to complete the game, but it's fun to aim for the bonuses it provides and to observe changing relationships most people of the world. Oh, okay. So, like, based on what I do, will influence that? Hello. Hello, name person. I feel like I'm doing pretty well for myself. Better than the guy who goes down by the bridge every night. Is he learning how to argue or something? Bit silly, that. I see, okay. So if they start talking about other people, then I go talk to them and then quests will start, maybe? <laughs> Seems pretty deep. Gotta say. Oh my god, what the heck is this little thing? What are you supposed to be? Come on, the day. Johnny, I'll make his, his best guy of all. Friends F. Have try tried it too? Yes, no. Well, yes, no. It's going to be tough for lunch. Oh, don't you? It's going sell out. Oh, he actually says something. They actually say something else when I talk to him again. That's pretty impressive. It's your size of this place. Uh, it's a 
curious kind of light that either lamps generate. Is that a guy? I can't, I can't see it by my face. Or a girl. Doesn't seem mechanical. Very useful, and the best part is they don't cause pollution. But that's something worth researching. No, girl. Wow. Okay, so I'm just gonna fill up this giant's researcher. Ha! Huh? This little jump is kind of funky. It's also kind of like, once you start going in a direction, you cannot stop. <laughs> it's like, oh! Wow, oh god. Oh god. I guess he's just trying to complete some of these, so like, would take a goddamn long time. Oh, that's pretty convenient. Okay, so even in, in on the inside of the town, you can just go straight to places. Nighttime is very quiet. It's my favorite time of day. When it's daytime, kids are loud and noisy. They knew it'd be loot! So I like nighttime best. Thank you, little funny thing, whatever the hell you are. Let's see if I can go into, well, any houses, right off the bat. Uh, I see a little blue dot, what is that? On well, the mini-map. Uh, oh. Qu quest? Is that you? Hi there. Hi there! It's weird. My heart should be pounding, shouldn't it? I mean, we've been going out long enough for some sparks to fly, but instead I just feel empty and alone. I'm overthinking things. Gonna need to elaborate on who you're talking about. Wanted, one boyfriend. <laughs> okay. Last guy was a wild one, so... For an elegant type this time, this just won't work out either. Uh... Hey, I see an exclamation point. Is it... Oh, J Jim's man stall. Oh, oh, la landmark. Oh, there's someone up there. Huh. Hold on, I'm I'm huh. coming. How the hell do I get back up there? I got experience for finding Hello. landmarks as well. De Desiree. Oh, oh, shock! There you are. I've been looking everywhere for you. I've broken my watch. Look, it's in pieces. I'm terrible with machines, even little ones like this. You should buy fixing it for me. You don't have to be good with machines to be careful with them. You just have to be careful. So your father go with machines. I'd have thought fixing things would be the first thing he'd teach you. Not just good, he was amazing. When I was little, I used to marvel at how he swung that hammer. But he's gone now. As hard as I try, I can't be like he was. I, I'm sorry, Desiree. I didn't mean to be rude. Oh, it's so easy to make you go all timid. <laughs> Seriously, don't worry about it. It's been a year since then, and I'm back on my feet. Anyway, are you going to w fix my watch or not? I guess no! <laughs> uh, Desiree's broken her watch. Uh, take it to the lab and fix it for her. Okay. If you quest in your quest log. Brilliant. I I'll leave it to your capable hands. It's in pretty bad shape. I'll have to use the equipment in the lab, so it might take a while. Okay. Oh, I see, okay. I get muscle up! You got little porches for each of them. <laughs> Useless with machines. Ha! Ha! Oh, Jim Man. Hey, you listen here a bit. Hello there, youngin. I got something that might interest you. Rather, something to tell you. It's about this here furnace. When creatures die, they leave either crystals behind. Everyone knows that, don't they? But the particles in the bodies are. Oops, this stuff's too complicated. Just remember that creatures drop ether crystals when they die. I haven't got the, to the best part yet. Ready? Don't be shocked. Okay, I, I'm, I'm, I'm bracing myself. First, comp first compresses ether crystals and removes impurities. Use it to make ether gems. What? No reaction? Huh. Kids these days. Don't know how amazing this thing is. Can use the furnace to make ether gems. I've got the power of ether crystals, but highly condensed. Those ether gems can give you all sorts of powers. They're great for use in the home or the by the defense force. Just put them in weapons or armor slots. What? So much of a reaction. Never mind. Probably require for you to try it. If you want to get a try, just put a gems in your weapon slots. Weapon and yours will do fine. Oh, sweet. Okay. Gems have various qualities. If a gem is inserted into a piece of equipment, the weapon takes on that quality. Highlight an empty slot. Oh, right. Story progresses, you will gain the ability to make gems yourself. Don't waste your either cr crystals by selling them. Those things are useful. Look on your face. Looks like you realize how great either gems are. 
Suppose you want to try making a gym yourself. You had a luck. Yeah. You're not far enough in the story as the little tutorial box told you. Now you feel, but you can't. Be the first is broke down. Oh, don't look too bothered. Never mind. Strike come back later. Ah, okay. Alright, shut up! Sorry, actually, I need to do that. Uh, look at that thing I bought from the store. I didn't even check that out. Uh, do I just use it? Backslash is now intermediate level. Ah, yeah, okay, so just, it sort of levels it up. One step further beyond! Blah, 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 blah! Stop talking to me! Okie dokie. So, HP up, strength up. Nice. I will take that. Like, yeah, those are the only ones, though, that have stuff. <laughs> that hits the slot. <laughs> la, 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 la. Okay. Oh, he's the one singing. Okay. Right. Sesame. We're discussing serious business right now. Something might be going on, going down, something big. It's all still in the playing stages, though. Something big. Idealist. Oh, wait. It's a good thing you, you can fast travel, so he's like as... There's quite a quite a bit of running. There's a lot. Of, lot I mean, seriously, look at look at all this open space. Power. I feel the power. <laughs> I even learned an art. Hello. Hello. What's well, something really important? A wedding ring. Oh. Oh, I, I actually found it. It's so small. I've looked all over, but I can't find it anywhere. Can you help me out? Except. I don't want my wife to go at me. I'm counting on you. Found it. For the Resonance Quest. Hello. Hello. How about my affini affinity? Since the connections between people, like friendship or tr trust. Like you have any connections with people here yet. But I'm fitting with people by helping and talking to them. Di oh wait, did I, did I do it? I thought I'd have to give it back to you. <laughs> You've completed the Resonance Request to prevent a d domestic disharmony. I, I guess it did. Oh, okay. So just it just ended. Cool. <laughs> What did I do? Teleport it back to him? Eh, pack Armu. I'ma fight it! Yeah! yeah. <laughs> they, they talk, it sound like, they sound a bit like Smeagol. Yes, they... Yeah. I don't know if I can, I don't know if I can do a good Smeagol impression. They have, they have good sleep at night, but they're snoring so loud, my sleep not good! So, so, that's not quite right. I've really, never really practiced one before. Arts will learn, they'll naturally get stronger to get more arts. More experience also gets you more arts. Okay, so you learn new arts from just getting experience, and then you power them up by buying stuff at the shop. Fortress Entrance. Discovering Landmarks. The colony features landmarks, born placed in hidden areas and locations. Discovering landmarks and locations will reward experience. Find all the landmarks and locations in the area to open up, to open up the complete area map. Ah, okay. Neato. Neato! What the hell are you playing at? Uh-oh. The colonel's gonna explode. Crashing the mobile artillery <laughs> into a house. How long have you been in the force? Look at that big old Sorry, pink sir. mustache. It's just that we were trying to go Is as fast as we Like you ordered. But it's impossible to get back to the military district in only 40 seconds. I don't want any excuses. Champions don't whine. They win. Yes, sir. You're a disgrace to the uniform! Are you forgetting the shame you brought on this force during joint maneuvers with Colony 6? Stick your back into it, maggots! Move it! Yes, sir. Get the artillery back to the military district double time! Then I want a million press-ups from both of you! <laughs> you better not stop until your biceps explode! Don't stop till you're dead! We can't move the artillery. What? You better give a damn good reason why. Sir, the impact of the crash damaged the ether conduction cable. The ether fuel proceeded to leak out, and now the cylinder is empty. Well, change the cylinder then. Can't you even do something as simple as that? The auxiliary cylinders have all been used up. It'll be three days until more come in, sir. I told you to keep a stock of fuel in reserve. Sorry, sir. You're nothing but slackers. 
Oh my god, what the fuck? Same old colonel. At this rate, just punched the fuck out of him. <laughs> he, just, he just slugs him right in the face. Sucker punches him. And like he's like, oh, the same old colonel. No, I feel like that. I don't, I don't care if you're the head of the army. I don't think you're allowed to do that shit. Just kill him. Kill him all. Have you ever been to the pool below Outlook Park at night? This monster called Lake Magdalena that appears there. Would be a lot if you could eliminate it once of all. Uh, okay. Such courage. Take care. Make sure you don't get hurt. I should wait till I have that other dude in my party. I don't think Shulk is going to be able to do anything on his own. Oh, he's got some people back here. Hmm. I'm sorry, I don't have the energy to be chatting with you right now. I won't get any research done. Hi, Dad. Monica. I'm always happy. I'm my happiest when I'm near Eric. Oh. Excuse me now, I must find Eric. Distract me from staring at Eric's good looks. What do you mean he's fine? He's right there. Okay, there we go. We found, I think that was a connection, right? It's just like... It's like social link, but between two other people that aren't me. Unrequited. What the fuck? Are you serious? I'm gonna make these two, like, fall in love and fuck each other like two monkeys? What the hell? Is that what's gonna happen? I don't care about my social link with people. I want people to love each other. This is like take. This is like going another step beyond Persona. This is to go even further beyond. Weapon Dev Lab. What is it? Perrine. There are a lot of scientists in the colony, don't you think? Even lots of young and upcoming ones. The others are so prolific. It just makes things worse for me. Oh, wait. I, I just realized. That guy uh, just connected. She connected herself to Eric, right? And they said I should talk to the other person now that they made the connection. So let's let's give that a try. If only I can make the residents live better through my my research. Because things that easy. How's it going? I think. Uh, okay, never mind. Hello? Oh, there's that, uh, that thing again. All right, Shulk. How are you? Oh. Dixon! When did you get back to Colony 9? That guy again. <laughs> Just now. I see you've been busy. Looks like your nice pants, research bro. has been going well. I made the right choice leaving you in charge. <laughs> your research notes really helped. So, you can activate it now, then. Well, anyone can activate it. The problem is controlling it. Yeah, for everyone except him. Yes. If anyone other than Dunban were able to control the Monado, we could surpass any military force in the world. You think so? What are these hidden functions you mention? It's still only conjecture, but it's starting to look like the Monado might be something far more significant than just a weapon for defeating Mechon. I see. And the evidence to support your theory? You can also microwave it's the burritos. That appears in the center when it's activated. What I know is, the central piece is made from multi-layered glass. The symbol appears on the top layer, and each layer is constructed differently. So it's possible that other symbols could appear on different layers. Which means... The Monado might conceal even more power. Am I right? If we could just... Unlock the Monado's power. Dunban! Dunban! Prioritize the most severely injured! Come on, get a move on! Dunban! Don't look like that. I haven't come yet. Ah, uh, so he's right after that, that fight, I guess. <laughs> Go grab the Sora, but careful not to explode yourself. Monado. It was controlling me. Even so, it saved us. Saved our future. Next, it will be up to you. 
Dunban. Well, I better get the supplies delivered to the defense force. I'll drop round the HQ and see how they're getting on. Okay then. I'll see you later. Shulk, you're spending too much time in the lab. Either that or rummaging for junk in the scrapyard. It ain't healthy for a kid your age. That's why you're always looking so pasty. You should get out, get some fresh air once in a while. All right, I'm off. <laughs> oh, my skin looks pretty dark to me. Seriously, look at look at my hair compared to my skin. So this is just like some weapon that we came across. We don't totally understand. Is it time to eat already? You didn't have to bring it yourself. You could have just called me. Don't be silly. Guy's doing the Jeff Goldblum pose. Do you want me to feed you? <laughs> oh. <laughs> Don't treat me like an invalid. I'm better than I was a year ago. Much better. No, oh, I really thought I lost you back then. Yes, but now I'm almost well enough to handle the Monado again. Dumban, don't say that. The Meccan have gone now. Oh, why would you say that? I just mean I'm prepared. Sorry. Okay. More importantly, eat up before it gets cold. I made something really special today. Don't feel like you need to stay here then, Fiora. Go and make your next delivery. Huh? Well, I'm sure you'd like Shulk to try some while it's still hot. That's okay. Shulk has no sense of taste. He'll say it's delicious even if it's stone cold. <laughs> In which case, today he would actually mean it. Hmm, maybe. I'm fine, Fiora. Off you go. Okay. Dunban, thanks. finished yet. I have to be prepared to use the Monado again. Ouch. Oh, what the hell? Hello there, new person. Story quest. quest. Fiora has made something special for Shulk. Take it in before it gets cold. Find Shulk and give him the food. Story quests must be completed as the story advances, story quests become available. Uh, view the details in the quest log, carry out the quest. Ah, oh, okay. Cool. It's like, just like Mother 3 when we hop around perspectives here. What's up? Why don't you take some food for Shulk? But hurry up. Once it's very nice, if it gets cold. I'll just teleport there. Oh, can't currently skip to this landmark. <laughs> or not. Hey, Fiora. Dixon. Looks like you're in a hurry. Where are you off to? I just thought I'd take Shulk some food. I'm on my way to the lab. Shulk's not there right now. Really? I just sent him out to get some fresh air. You know where he'll have gone. Outlet Park. That's the one. Okay. Thanks, Dixon. Kinda looks like a dancer. That outfit. Looks a bit like Disco Stew from Angel Beats. Okay, go to the place indicated by the... Question mark, proceed with the quest. Battle Tactics Fiora. Butterfly Step. My talent art is butterfly steps. The forehead combo that does loads of damage. The talent gauge fills up when I auto attack. I'm here to do some damage. I sneak behind monsters and go in with a power smash. And your talent gauge fills up really fast because your auto attack is so quick, right? <laughs> What's talent art again? <laughs> but butterfly step! Uh, I've got to loose, let it loose as soon as the talent gauge fills up. Swoosh. Before I do that, your aggro will shoot up. Save it for a final blow when we really need it. Oh, uh, okay. 
So if you beat on them, uh, like, too much, then the enemies will start focusing their attacks on you, I guess. All right, guys. Well, this seems like a pretty good place to end things here for now. I'm, uh, I'm looking forward to this. I am a little nervous, though. I, I know this is it's supposed to be a pretty big game. Um... So, I don't know, there's always the, the possibility that at some point during the middle of this, I might need to take a break, if it's just going on for too long, or if, if it feels like I'm a, a bit overwhelmed, you know? I don't usually do two of the same type of game like like this at the same time, with, you know, Mother 3 and this going at the same time, but I've heard Mother 3 is pretty short, um, so I that will let me sort of hop to something else. Um, I don't know, we'll have to see, we'll have to play it by ear, but um, if this is a series that you want to see more of, please do leave a like on this video, it really does help me out. And subscribe if you're not already become a picky penguin. For this will be, where the days are always sunny and the vids are always funny. Like, yeah, you know, I, I want to see what, how you guys feel about this, what the, the response, the demand for it is. I mean, I know a lot of people request it, but there's always a possibility that everyone be like, oh, you know what? Maybe this isn't such a good idea. I don't know. Well, uh, let me know if you want to see more, though, and uh, just leave a like if you do. And if you have any tips, of course, I'm I'm welcome to hear it. But yeah, so far, my thoughts, I, it seems like it could be pretty good. I, I'm still a little unsure about the battle system itself. Uh, it looks like it could have a fair amount of depth to it. But anyway, guys, as always, till next time, stay classy!